fan blowing, giving us that effect. Ooh. Who I think I am? <laughs> okay, for real, for real, you guys. We're gonna get started. Everyone, I am totally done with the games now. It is your girl, the Pacro Chick. My name is Essence, but you can call me S, and we're back with another video. This video is totally overdue. Um, definitely because I am about to take finals in my second semester of the program. But I definitely thought it was super important for me to recap my first semester for any of you who are about to start your master's program so you I can walk you through what was going on, how I readjusted things from undergrad, and uh, um just focused and stayed on track for in my first semester in the program so if you are interested and wanting to be inspired stay tuned and keep watching so your girl secured a 3.7 her first semester in her special master's program this program is no joke so i'm super proud of my ability to secure that 3.7 even though the aim was a 4.0 it was, but a 3.7 is good in my book, okay? It depends on your standards, what your standards is, but don't come for me. This is my journey. You run your race, and I'll run mine. I'm just kidding. No hostility. But I'm super proud of myself. It was a huge turnaround from undergrad, and I know as long as I keep that momentum and just prove to be better and better the three semesters I have left, technically two because it is the end of my second semester, um by the time i'm making this video but that's okay you guys i just want to give you a quick rundown of how it went so first semester i took four classes it was fundamentals of neuroscience fundamentals of pharmacology and fundamentals of biochemistry along with a one credit seminar class at my program that's required to graduate from my program super easy so all those classes totaled out to 10 credits it was a lot you guys um it was a lot it was a big change i do a, a lot of self-reflecting i had to get myself together in order to set myself up for success because i knew there was no room for failure <laughs> none this is our second chance and that is how you have to look at it you have to okay and that's how i um end up getting my 3.7 my 3.7 Okay, uh, and I can't lie, I was a little disappointed when I saw the 3.7 because my goal was a 4.0. But now that I'm in my second semester and I know how what to expect, I'm like, girl, you did that thing. You did it. But just going into how I kind of switched up everything from undergrad um, and my sad little measly little 2.5, plus I was out of school for two years. So... I did a lot of changing. I found a learning style or a study method that works for me because in undergrad, I honestly didn't study. So now I've been studying. First of all, my first semester in the program, I did not work. Um, and I was studying at my little desk in the corner all day, every day, and studied all day, every day. Um, I adapted Anki cards. If you guys don't know what Anki is, it is a flashcard program that a lot of med students use, that a lot of dental students use. Um, you can download onto your computer. It's a big learning curve. I definitely had to watch a lot of YouTube videos to figure out how to use it and download all these add-ons. You have It's a, like a blank program when you get it, but you have to download add-ons in order to use it. Um, Anki was definitely my go-to and how I memorized everything I needed to know for my classes. And with Anki, you can also download decks that other people have made, other flashcards, and just use it. But the way I learned was I actually learned more by making the flashcards. Because when I would watch the lecture, everything would just be like jumbled up in my head it wouldn't make sense there was a lot of things in order to understand it fully you had to group them together and and compare the things that are alike and the things are not alike to be easier to remember and when I was going through the lecture um everything was just not organized in my head but when I went through started making my flashcards I was able to actually organize everything in my head into little file cabinets and it just helped me to memorize it that much better so definitely recommend Anki. 
learn it early if you can but if not you'll get it um what else did i do oh my lectures lectures are like once a week they're three hours three hours each basically um i think for the most part um and they would take me all day to get through let's be because honestly i did not go to live lectures if i did it was for like 30 minutes and then i dipped but um when i was watching the recorded lectures that they would put up it it just took me all day to get through and it's because i would slowly go through them every time i didn't understand something or i would take notes and then they're just off on the next subject so quickly i would keep rewinding it rewinding it i would not go on until i understood everything that was going on first so that literally made a three-hour lecture take me all day to get through but that's just how i it is it, it's long maybe i shouldn't maybe you, some of you guys some of you professional students will have a better way to do it but that's what works for me i'm not asking for anybody's opinion <laughs> but that's what worked for me it was i don't want to say it was a waste of time but whatever your girl put out a 3.7 um hold on so that's something else that i went through my first semester um second semester i utilize professors a lot once again another thing in my program um a lot of professors have guest lecturers who come in and they teach um a lecture so they'll have a different guest lecture every week so it gets kind of hard to get to know that one professor especially because we need letters of recommendation so we need people to get to know us so i really utilize my professors a lot every little question i had i would go to them in their office or zoom call them to ask them um just to make sure i'm building that relationship right and and it also helped me to understand the um the material even more so that's another thing i did um that i'm still doing in it and just integrating into my school study little routine whatever um and i think that is all i'm trying to think the biggest struggle i had especially for semester it, this semester as well my second semester um which i'll talk about in a different video is time management you really have to manage your time there was some times where i was just fatigued and i didn't want to study anymore i was tired of sitting on my desk my butt was hurting like it was just and then i would just like lay down and start watching netflix and hulu for hours on end and it's getting worse now that i'm working now um and sometimes when i get off work i don't want to study i just want to lay down eat some snacks and watch a movie so time management and just being very particular with your time setting a schedule and staying on schedule um that was my biggest struggle i'm still struggling it and still struggling with it now that i'm closing out my second semester um but just to put you guys on game, you guys, time management is the key, especially when you're working with these dense classes in grad school with so much information in one lecture. And it's only going to get worse because med school classes are going to have even more information in one lecture. So you can't fall behind. There was a couple of times, I believe after the midterm, I fell behind a lot and I was watching like four lectures in one week before the test. I got it. Cause your girl pulled off what a 3.7 but that is not the situation that you want to be in okay um so that's kind of all i have for you um considering my first semester my first semester the plan was to i was full-time first semester because i believe in my program you just need to take nine credits to be considered a full-time student second semester my plan was to only be half part half time part time so i can start mcat studying sadly unfortunately i did not do that but that is for another video which hopefully i will record and um post next week but i did not start my mcat studying like i wanted to um because the plan was to start over the winter break um but yeah that is all i have all in all i love my program i am killing the game right now and uh,
yeah i am doing my program in four semesters a lot of people do them in three some people do them in two but like i told you guys in my other videos that i'm focused on more than just my academics i wanted to build my my um volunteer activities up some i wanted to build up my leadership experiences sometimes so i was like what's the rush might as well stay in the program for four semesters and make it do what i do make a do what i do baby <laughs> so i will be applying to med school next summer um so the summer of 2022 um the goal over this year is to pre-write everything on my application my personal statement my um activity sections like everything down to the the character count or the word count whichever one they have um so i can just copy and paste and maybe edit a little bit if i need to but uh that is the goal we're gonna set the bar high because i want my application to, season to be as as stress-free as possible and the girls planning a big trip to europe as my getting to med school trip okay that'll be after when my application is season is coming to a close in 2023 but we trying to make it as stress-free as possible so that's just my goal um i have nothing else for you i can't wait to see you guys next week i'll make sure i have a video of how my second semester went because i'm currently in final season of my second semester this is a super late video i'm sorry but you guys have it now um feel free to comment make sure you like comment and subscribe on this video um hit that bell below to get notified when i put up new videos you guys i'm loving the support make sure you follow me on instagram at the powerful chick um follow my journey there i'll be posting videos and advice as i get them and you can see my day-to-day -day life as i'm working as a medical assistant thank you for watching make sure you tune in next week and bye